Hi, I'm Drake Sondach. And my name is Luke Miazga. And, and we're, we're going to talk to you about, about epidermal dysplasia varoxiformis. What is epidermal dysplasia varoxiformis, or EV for short? It is also known as the tree man disease. The disease is an immune deficiency and is a rare recessive inherited genetic skin disorder. It is a failed response to human papillomavirus, or HPV for short, a type of STD. People that have weak immune systems and that cannot fight HPV are more likely to contract EV. Due to the rare immune system deficiency, their bodies are unable to contain warts. The virus hijacks the cellular machinery of the skin cells and makes the body produce massive amounts of the substance causing tree-like growths, also known as cutaneous horns. In order for one to have EV, two abnormal EV genes, or one, from each parent are needed to have the disease. What are symptoms of EV? Well, some of the symptoms are thick warts all over the body as well as inside the skin. The skin will also become thick and hardened. The hands and feet are also enlarged and become difficult to use. The skin begins to look like tree bark or tree roots, hence the name tree man disease. Warts are most likely developed in children ages 5 to 11. It can also develop throughout puberty and in infancy. EV is a lifelong disease. Lesions can be treated or removed as they appear. Patients with EV will continue to develop these lesions throughout life. In most cases, lesions may develop and remain unchanged for years. Currently, there is no treatment to prevent new EV lesions from occurring. Keratinocytes in the upper epidermal layer are enlarged with perinuclear vacuolization. <laughs> the exact number of people that have EV is unknown. However, more than 200 cases have been reported so far. EV is a devastating and terrible disease. But please enjoy the following clip. 36-year-old Dede lives in a small fishing village in Indonesia. For more than 10 years, he has struggled with a mysterious disease that has left him unable to work or be a real father. Dede's brother-in-law, Emud, and his father fear that with the disease spreading over his body, Dede will soon become completely disabled. Hi, welcome everyone again. I'm Michael Lanos. Thanks to Lynn Berry for uh, filling in. And then we can come back to this. That's Dede Kaswar, better known as Tree Man. We're featuring his story as part of our Medical Mystery Series. Now, the Indonesian man has spent much of his life covered in tree-like growths. You see some of them there. His struggle began. He's 15 years old. He gets cut on the knee in an accident. A small wart popped up on his lower leg, then spread uncontrollably. Now, the growths on his arms can weigh 12 pounds alone. Uh, he's had insects living inside them for several years. Now, he was able to earn a living as a builder and a fisherman, but he was forced to abandon those jobs because his condition had worsened. He ended up taking a job on a traveling freak show. Eventually, his wife of 10 years left him after it became impossible for him to support her and the two kids. But what caused those mysterious growths? Believe it or not, a rare genetic defect that prevented him from fighting off the HPV virus, human papillomavirus, 2008, Tree Man underwent surgery to have over four pounds of the warts removed from his body, and since then, he's been able to regain partial use of his hands. Uh, again, fascinating story. I know you're doing a double uh, take here at home. Uh, and joining us to talk about it, Dr. Richard Fershine specializes in pre preventative medicine. I, medicine. Among the headlines with this, doctor, is HPV is at the root of this? How is that? Yeah, I mean, this uh, virus has been in the news recently because it has been implicated in Michael Douglas's uh, case of esophageal cancer. It's also been a problem associated with cervical cancer. And, and it's a common problem that millions of people face every year when they're dealing with common everyday warts. This particular individual, Didi, could not fight this infection because he had a rare immune deficiency. Okay, so then... How did, it be, how did it become what we see today in the growth and the tree man moniker and all of that? Well, basically what happens with a human papillomavirus is it attacks very specific cells in the body called keratinocytes, and they produce a substance called keratin. That's the substance that is present on your uh, fingers when you get calluses and, and uh, when, when uh, viruses like HPV affect your skin, you get those growths, those wart-like growths. 
So when keratin is overproduced, it produces this continual production of this particular substance, which leads to these horns that developed over many, many years.